hi guys welcome back on this channel and this is going to be a second video of my candlestick pattern series and in this video i will focus on inverted hammer pattern so um i will start by saying that if you haven't seen the first video in which i uh, go or in which I focus on hammer pattern, please do, because this is going to be very similar to that. We'll just turn the things around a bit. Okay, so here on my chart, firstly, let's find uh, something that looks like an inverted hammer pattern and let's uh, discuss like our conditions or our uh, rules for uh, this pattern. So inver inverted hammer pattern, you can see for example here so it's the same thing like just imagine the hammer pattern and just invert it and that's it so you have this upper wick lower wick and the body the rules are the same the lower wick has to be s smaller than the body and the upper wick has to be like three or four times larger than the body and that's it yeah it's very simple so i will go back to my mt5 in which i have in which i will be uh, continuing like in the script that i have created for this whole series so yeah let's continue so i will start by updating the input menu for the user so here you can see that we have done this for the hammer pattern so i will do exactly the same thing for the inverted hammer as well so yeah uh, the group or let's call it inverted hammer pattern and i'll just update these variable names inverted inverted and invert it okay so this looks nice and now i just have to change also the color so let's do something like violet and the text for the inverted hammer pattern um, let's go with ih which is going to be or which will stand for inverted hammer okay so yeah this is all we need to do in here and yeah let's create a new new function i won't copy like i could what i could do is that i could copy this whole function and then just like change a few things but that's not the approach i want to use here so i will create a whole new function from scratch and i will explain what i am doing for those of you who didn't see the first video so let's create a function of type void and let's call it inverted hammer pattern and it's the same thing i will need the shift variable so shift variable basically tells us like with which uh, candlestick in the history are we working with so now the thing that i can do is that i can copy these like to get the open closed so close price open price high price and low price for the candlestick that we are working with so this is uh, not something that is extra difficult and yeah so uh, now we need to obtain three different things so the first thing we need to obtain is like the size of the upper wick then we need to obtain the size of the, the body and the last thing we need to uh, get is the size of the lower wick okay so let's do it so double lower wick and it's going to be high minus and now uh, math max so close or open because yeah uh, the upper price for the body will be either close price or open price based on whether we are dealing with the bullish or the bearish candlestick and with using the math max function we can like uh, get the higher price without knowing 
the type of the candlestick that we are working with. So this is something that uh, we want to use. And I uh, did an error here because it's upper wing. Okay, so now let's do the body. And yes, it will be math max of close and open minus the math min. So now I am like taking the higher of close or open price and then I, uh, how do you say it? Extract, nah, decrease the value by the, by, by the lower value, okay? I hope that makes sense. So like this. And then I need the last thing, which is the lower wick. So lower wick is equal to now math uh, min of close and open minus the low price. Okay, so this is everything I need. And uh, let's continue with the same approach as I've used in this function right here. And that is that I will create two Boolean variables for our two conditions that we have to check. So Boolean, so first condition, and if you, remem if you remember, our first condition is that the body has to be larger than the upper wick, okay? So body is equal or is larger than upper wick. So this is our first condition. And our second condition is that, uh, the second condition is that the, uh, the body times the inverted hammer wick ratio is lower or equal than the upper wick. And here we want to get the lower wick. Sorry. This was my mistake. Okay, so this should be our two conditions that we have to uh, have to meet in order uh, to detect the inverted hammer. So let's do an if else statement. So if second condition and first condition. So if both of these conditions are true, then we have found our inverted hammer pattern. And the last thing we need to do is that we need to like visualize the pattern. So I will take this from here, I will paste it here, and I will go line by line explaining what I'm doing. Okay, so basically on this first line, I am creating an object, a new object, which uh, will be called yeah, inverted hammer pattern. And then I'm just adding this time uh, the time value so I can like create multiple multiple objects with different name okay so it's going to be an object of a text type so it's going to be a text and then I am displaying it on the current time of the candlestick that I was working with and let's do it for high value not low value so for hammer candlestick it, it it's uh, below the candlestick and for this inverted hammer let's do it above the candlestick okay so then i am just uh, setting uh, the color for the text and it will be inverted hammer pattern color and also like i need to set uh, the text as well and i can do so by um, by inserting the input variables that I have created before. Okay, so I'm receiving an error here. So let's find out. Yeah, this is this is the error. Okay, and yeah, so this should be fine. So I will go back here on my own calculate function and I will do the same thing. So firstly, I will check whether I want to show the inverted hammer pattern and if I if this condition is true then I will call this function yeah with the shift variable or value okay so let's see what happens in here so I will open a new chart 
and I will go here to my YouTube folder. So this is uh, the indicator that I've created. I will disable the hammer pattern. So I just want to see the inverted hammer and let's see what we are working with. Okay, and yeah, this looks this looks nice. So the I in the IH, the I is not that visible because like it corresponds with um, with the wig. So what I will do right here, just to make it more visible, is that I will say I high plus the body. Okay. So now it's like above the, or do you know what, uh, upper wig. So this will be even better. Okay, so now you can like clearly see uh, the, the signals. And I think if I like check, uh, check each of these uh, signals, I think it's correct because yeah, our first condition is that the upper wig has to be uh, x times larger than the body which it is and also the body is larger than the lower wig which was also our condition so yeah i think this looks this looks okay and what i can also do is that i can uh, increase or decrease this ratio variable so for example if i want uh, the upper wig to be at least six times larger than the body i can change it right here and you can see that i receive like less signals but yeah it works and yeah so just one more thing that i want to check is that i want to reset the indicator therefore i will uh, i will like see the hammer pattern and inverted hammer pattern as well so let's check how it looks like together and yeah i am receiving both of those patterns right here so yeah i think this is it for this video uh, thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one bye